Hey guys, Man of Steel 00 from Maple Syrup Gaming. I'm coming to you with a replay from the match I just played. So uh, we're going Tiger You Deer this game. And uh, we're going to try it in uh, times 2 speed, see how you guys like that. You know, sometimes watching through the game, the early farms and whatnot can be pretty boring. So we're not going to go uber quick, but we're going to go in times 2 speed. So let me know what you guys think. If you like it, let me know. If you don't, we, you know, it's, it mixes up the format a little bit. So we're going to start blue here in Tiger Stay with Tiger Udir. I like it because it lets you spam out its abilities and get a, fr a quick first clear. So we're going to start blue. Um, for Tiger Udir, by the way, the masteries I use are um, 12-0-18 with Courage of the Colossus as my keystone. Because uh, once we get a couple of damage items, I generally like going on a tanky build. Now this was actually a quick match where we destroyed the other team, so... We might not get to see a full build, like I didn't get much tankiness in this game. But you'll see. You'll see, I'll give you a brush up nonetheless of what the completed build would have looked like. So, um, yeah, and uh, for runes I'm going to attack speed quints, uh, attack damage reds, um, armor yellows, and magic resist blues. So here we try a gank on the Wukong top because Wukong versus Malphite, uh, Wukong can put a lot of pressure on Malphite early, so yeah, I wanted to help him out in lane, give him a little, uh, you know, a little help being able to farm. And uh, at the same time, you know, I soak up a little bit of XP from his lane, basically. Now, uh, what you want to do with Udyr is you grab a pair of boots to start out, and then you want to normally rush a Tiamat with Tiger Style, because the only problem with uh, going Tiger Style is that you don't really have any AoE clear, so for the jungle this season, it's really rough. Uh, if you don't grab uh, a Tiamat. So first item after boots is you want to rush a Tiamat. Here we managed to get a gank on the vein bot, so to complete the kills for our, our bot lane. Uh, now we're going to go to clear the bottom jungle. So switch it up a little bit. However, you're going to see I'm going to have to cut the... I'm basically going to skip the chickens till I get my Tiamat. That's something I like doing because I find you lose way too much health and you dare even with uh, turtle stance. However, if you guys like doing the chickens, just make sure you have a smite up. Smite the big chicken to start it out. He does the most of the damage and uh, you, you can do it pretty good. But you gotta, you gotta blow a smite for it. So like I said, I skip here. Now I'm pretty low. But I decide that I want the Gromp nonetheless before I go because uh, basically that will let me buy the Tiamat in one buy. I'm missing basically like 60 gold at this point. Hold on, let me put the. Uh, actually, let me put the. Uh, let me put our Fog of War here only. And. Uh, forget this here. Let's bring the scoreboard up. Take the little faces off the side, not really much use. And let's go back to following what I'm doing. There we go. So yeah, so um, basically I grabbed my Tiamat and I went to grab my blue buff, because I'm like, I want to try and help top again if I can. However, I see that they warded, so I clear out the control ward. And uh, Malphite decides to back, so um, I should have pushed his lane a little harder here. Uh, it's a it's a mistake when I you know I know it's coming up. You're gonna see I leave. I don't push out his lane fully. I should have really pushed it very hard so that he can come back to a, a mid lane. At least I left it so that it was pushing slow. It's just that basically um, I wanted to get back and make plays bot because I knew Sh I had a feeling Shivana was gonna try a gank there. So I wanted to be able to uh, be around for a counter gank, you know. There wasn't much I could do top other than farm, and I didn't think that was the best use of my time. At this point, yeah, so we were pretty sure Shivana's doing dragon, so I decided that we can try a counter play here. So we go in and we pretty much uh, destroy them. So basically we go in the bush so that the dragon actually attacks Vayne, which, which forces her off it at this level. It's a cute little play there, and we get managed to not only get the kills, but we managed to get the dragon as well. So here I'm looking to just to see if we're going to dive. 
but uh, my team decides that we're not going to dive, so there's no use me doing it alone. And I don't really want to jump into Shivana with the bot lane right there. So we're going to continue. Uh, we're going to continue on farming here. So on Tiger U Deer, you want to really try and farm as much as you can in the early game because you really have to stay at, with the laners, especially in a game like this where you haven't gotten any kills early. And uh, it's a good idea. Um, now, basically, uh, second thing as well is uh, this game you're going to say I'm like the assist king, man. Uh, my score at the end, I think I have like two kills and like uh, 14 assists. I unfortunately get uh, KS each and every opportunity, but at least my laners are making good use of the kills, so it's not too bad, you know. Like when you're giving the, when your laners are getting the kills and then they just die, that sort of rubs you the wrong way. But in this case, it's not too bad because my laners are actually making use of it. So there, I just want to push the Shivana off the turret because Shivana can take turrets pretty quick. And a ward there just to make sure that they weren't going to rotate on me in my jungle. No one's. Okay, back to the game. Sorry, guys, a little technical difficulty there. Hope, uh, hope it didn't cut out too bad for you. Unfortunately, our bot lane there got a bad trade because Shivana got a good gank. Unfortunately, you can't be everywhere on the map on at all times. So here, I'm working on finishing up my Trinity Force. I go for the attack speed and the damage item first. Uh, leaving the sheen for last. It really depends on how the game's going. Uh, if I'm really having trouble getting blue buffs and whatnot, I can go sheen first. Here we bait into a really good trade. And it also allows me to counter jungle and basically start taking uh, Shivana's farm. Shivana is basically a farm, you know, a, a heavy farming jug jungler, so if you have an occasion to take her farm, you do it. But she's hard to invade as well, just because she's very strong in, in the use. We managed to rotate on the vein as well. And I see pretty much everyone else on the map, so me and Tristana know we're pretty much free to take the bottom tower. Which is, uh, which is very good in this case. Now we could have kept pushing, but you know, we, what, we, we preferred rotating on mid here. survive just barely but we get the kill and yes I see the infernal drake so my team signals Tristana sets up for it I just wait to get a little bit of health I finished off finally my trinity force so I know that we're going to go straight for that dragon make sure that Shivana doesn't come and contest it manage to smite the dragon down make sure that no one interferes and back to farming once again. At this point, you sort of don't have to worry about your mana anymore once you get to this to your Trinity Force, because uh, the you know your mana pool is the basic thing holding you back in the early game. But with the extra mana you get from it and the uh, mana regen as you get your levels, it's it's excellent. So here I, I'm not really trying to engage. I just wanted to clear the farm from the tower to prevent them from getting it. And I see my top lane and my, my, our team t pressuring the top lane anyway, so, you know, I know that we don't have to worry too much about get ro getting rotated on. Now here I actually, maybe this is like my second mistake of the game, I tried to actually duel the Vayne. Problem is with Tiger style is a champ like Vayne can be hard for you to deal with, especially when you don't have your tier 2 boots and you don't have any armor. So I sort of get manhandled there, and she takes me to town. But, uh, you know, don't worry, round two is coming up pretty soon. We get her back. Pretty easy. Uh, so at this point, uh, basically, we're, we're going to try and complete our jungle item. We're going to go for the tank item, actually. So, um, you know, if we basically... Um, at this point, what we want to do is we want to get a little bit tanky, so we're going to go for items that give us tankiness, but also give us a little extra damage, and, you know, the jungle item is a good thing for that, because it does give you damage, and it increases all of your bonus health. Once again, we counter 
jungle to Shivana because I know my team can handle the lane on their own. Yasuo kindly gives over the blue buff to me. And here we rotate on, on them going mid. And there's round two, we took out the veins, so got our kill back. Teach her a lesson. Here we can just take power down, because there's not much Wukong can do. Yes, he can ult in, but I mean, ultimately we end up getting tower anyway. So one death on the Tristana for a tower. It's a fair trade. Here I was hoping to counter jungle, but uh, nothing left. So we're just gonna bat. We're just gonna go bot here because basically, uh, as you can see, our, our our tower's gonna a wave's gonna a huge wave's gonna hit our tower bot. Now, even though Tristana pinged it, she wasn't gonna get there in time. She was gonna probably lose out on half the farm. So you know, I don't feel bad taking it here. Here I see the Shivana going for the dragon. We want to make sure to cut it off. My team finishes the job, so we go for the dragon. Tristana nicely comes and helps us up. So so far I, I I hope you guys are able to like follow the game even in double speed. To me it seems pretty okay and uh Makes it a little less tedious, you know, than seeing sometimes a slow farm at the beginning and whatnot. So here we, uh, you know, we're not going to end. I'm pretty sure we're not going to end, so that's why I went for the inhibitor and, you know, forget the team fight. That's what we want. We want the inhibitor. We want them to not be able to counter us from going barren. And here I have a crap ton of gold on me. So I'm going to, in one buy, just buy my completed jungle item. And we're gonna start building towards actually a Titanic Hydra. Uh, I like going Titanic Hydra as the third item here, just because you get a lot of extra, extra HP from it, which gives you like tankiness, but a lot of damage at the same time. And especially it synergizes with your jungle item, the extra health really, you get the 15% bonus. So it, it's like the perfect third item for a, a jungle Udyr Tiger build. So uh, we managed to get Baron pretty quick. No one to contest us because someone with our uh, Malphite was keeping them busy top lane. I go a little deep here, but I will, you know, we're gonna end no matter what. Fortunately, I die there, but our Winions are in the base, and it's a pretty easy win. So you can really see the power of Tiger Udir. And even in this game, I ended up getting an S, and see, I'm 3, 2, and 11, so <laughs> assists or kills, just as good, as long as you keep the farm up, uh, pretty easy wins with Tiger Udyr. So I hope you guys liked the video, let me know what you think of the 2 times speed. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing this for all my videos, but uh, unless you guys say that it's way, way better and uh, get plenty of plenty of likes and views, but uh, anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Please sub and see you guys next time.